Hey guys, Harris here, and in this video, I'm going to quickly go over a combination of 15 hidden features and tips and tricks of iOS 9. Now, when I say hidden features, this simply means features Apple did not talk about in their keynote, but do exist that are new in iOS 9. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. So starting out with number one would be something I really like and something straight from Android, no doubt about that, and it is search and settings. This now allows you to search for any type of settings inside of the settings. So for instance, if I search Bluetooth, it'll take me to Bluetooth. Number two is a new keyboard setting, and this is show character. Now with this, it'll tell you whether you're in caps or not, so that's very convenient so you don't have to fiddle around with the button. You'll know right away whether your keyboard is in caps or not. Number three is the ability to turn off shake to undo. A lot of people hate shake to undo, and now you can turn that off. Number four is the ability to change the size switch. You can change this between mute or orientation lock, very similar to the iPad. I'm not sure if this will make it to the final version of iOS 9, but for now it's a cool feature. If you don't want to have it mute your phone, you can instead have it be an orientation lock. Number five would be added restrictions. If you go ahead and go into the restriction settings, you can see that there are numerous new restrictions. So if you want to have more security over your device or have more restrictions on it, with iOS 9, there is now that ability. Number six is the ability to turn off all vibrations on the device. This means that you won't get any vibrations on the device, including emergency alerts or amber alerts, and this simply turns off all vibrations. Number seven is the dedicated iCloud Drive application. This is something that wasn't on iOS 8, but now there is a dedicated iCloud app, uh, very similar to a Google Drive app, but it is the iCloud Drive application. Now number eight is that Find My Friends and Find My iPhone are preloaded on iOS 9, but not just that, but that you can now put Find My Friends inside the notification panel so you can quickly track or stalk your friends just from the notification settings. Number nine would be faster HDR settings. No longer when you press the HDR does it open up a panel where you can select on, off, or auto. Now you can quickly press HDR and it will do that for you without opening any panels. And something very, very small, but definitely something I like because it's very quick. Number 10 is the ability to add favorite locations in maps. This is something that wasn't in iOS 8 and it's very cool. If you want to set a favorite location for quick access later, you have the ability to do that. Number 11 is in the contacts application. If you scroll to the very top, it will have you on top. So if you want to get to your contact information very quickly, you have the ability to do that. Now, number 12 is a very cool feature. If you're in an application and you get a notification and you click on it, on the top left hand corner will give you an option to return to the previous application very quickly. It's very handy and I definitely do like this feature. Number 13 is the ability to add attachments in mail. Now right now the only thing you can really do is add attachments from iCloud Drive. It's a very cool feature and you can add attachments straight to your mail. Now number 14 and 15 are both notes related. Number 14 would be the ability to add locations to notes. If you're in the Maps application you go ahead and click Share, Notes, and you'll be able to create a note of that location. And finally 15 is the ability to choose how your notes start. So when you compose a new note, you now have the ability to customize how it will start out, whether you want it to be a body or a title or etc. You can choose how that new note will start on default, something very small but very cool. So those are 15 hidden features and cool additions and tips and tricks for getting the most out of iOS 9. There's some cool features here, and I really am liking iOS 9 so far. If you want to check out my initial hands-on and preview of the features, I'll have that link in the description. Or if you want to install this on your device, I'll have that tutorial in the description as well. Let me know if you guys want to see any specific features. I will have more videos coming, so make sure you subscribe. Give this video a like, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.